Is everything okay with Adam Busby? Fans have been worried about the out-daughter dad ever since he posted a cryptic message on Instagram on October 25th. The post read, Being in the public eye isn't always sunshine and rainbows, so we are grateful for our support system of friends and family that aren't afraid to go to battle for us and lift us up when we are under attack. Fans quickly took to the comments to express their support for Adam and his family, and also pressed him for more details. While we can't say for sure what exactly Adam is referring to, the Busby family has recently been criticized online for a number of parenting decisions. Some fans understandably thought that Adam might just be referring to online trolls, but the TLC star hinted that things are a bit more complicated. Adam responded in the comments saying, It goes a little deeper than that, on a much higher level. While Adam didn't reveal more about what was going on, it's possible that he's referring to a combination of things. The Busbys have been under a lot of stress lately for a number of reasons, including making tough parenting decisions and dealing with online critics. In September, the Busbys had to shut down parent shamers who criticized them for allowing one of the quints, Riley, to skip pre-K and go straight to kindergarten. Fans were quick to criticize the decision, slamming the Busbys for splitting up the quints. Adam wrote in the comments of an Instagram post where Danielle made the announcement, It was a learning experience for us, and it's been positive since we chose to separate them. There ain't a manual for raising quints. We are making the best decision that we can with the information and intuition that we have as their parents. Adam further defended the decision to people and called out the trolls at the same time, saying, It's crazy, and I don't know what it is. Is it just to mask one's own insecurities so they can have this persona online, that they have everything together if they shame another mom? It's really bizarre. Adam added that most people simply don't understand what it's like to be the parents of Quince, and therefore can't understand how tough things are for the Busbies. He said, In world history, there have only been six parents who have dealt with raising all-girl quintuplets. There's nobody out there who knows the intricacy of the decisions we make. It's just crazy that somebody out there is criticizing us about something they have no idea about. People have also recently criticized the Busbies for having a weekly date night, saying they shouldn't take so much time away from their children. Danielle Busby told Good Housekeeping in July, It's something we have done literally since we had Blake, and we get hit in a negative way which is so strange. Just because we have our kids doesn't mean that we should not go out and have time together. Adam also recently started a new job, which has taken a toll on the Busby family. It was revealed in the season 6 premiere of Outdaughtered that Adam quit his job and is now a partner in a Dallas-based health and wellness company. This means that once a month, Adam has to make a three-and-a-half-hour trip to the company's Dallas headquarters, leaving Danielle alone with the kids. Danielle expressed her frustration with the new schedule on an episode of Outdaughtered. Go to Dallas. Danielle and Adam also got into an argument over Adam not leaving travel dates on the calendar, leading to fans attacking Adam for how he was treating his wife. Adam responded to critics in the comments of an Instagram post, writing, You just saw where they decide to cut it in. It's television. Remember that. Don't start getting me going, Adam. I'm gonna start being loud. Uh. The same day that Adam posted his cryptic message on Instagram, Danielle Busby published a blog post on the family site, It's a Buzz World. In it, Danielle hinted at some frustration, but said that she's trying to focus on the good things. Danielle wrote, Do you ever just find yourself in a grumpy mood? Sometimes I can't put my finger on the exact cause. Maybe just a mix of roller coaster hormones, a messy house, a long to-do list, and plain old exhaustion. But I let all these things contribute to my bad mood, and it makes it hard to appreciate the good things in life sometimes. I think the only cure for this is gratitude. It turns what we have into enough. Hopefully Danielle's positivity will help the Busby family get through this tough time. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite reality stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.